Yep. yep. Let's go. All right. Good evening. My name is Specialist Cole with the Montgomery County Sheriff's Office. First name is Caleb. C A L E B. Last name Cole. C O L E. Today, September 12th, 2024, at about 6 p.m., the Montgomery County Sheriff's Office responded to a suspicious person's call at the 200 block of Valleywood Drive. The caller advised that a white male who had been issued a criminal trespass warning earlier today was back on property and refusing to leave. This was after deputies had already responded to two previous calls today. On the first call, the subject was given a courtesy warning to leave the property. The second call was in response to the hotel management saying that the subject was back on property and they wanted a criminal trespass issue to the mail. Later this afternoon, a third call was received from hotel management stating that the subject had returned and he was on the property. Deputies arrived on scene and attempted to detain the male to investigate the criminal trespass. During the encounter, the male refused to comply with verbal commands and began to resist detention, at which time a deputy used their taser to gain compliance, which was unsuccessful. The male managed to remove the prongs before compliance could be gained, grabbed a gun from his property, and ran from the deputies. During the pursuit, the deputies gave multiple commands for the male to stop and drop the weapon. The subject refused to comply, at which time he turned towards the deputies. Fearing for their safety, one deputy discharged their firearm, striking the male multiple times. Deputies then provided life-saving measures until EMS arrived on scene. The subject was then transported to a local hospital where he succumbed to his injuries. Detectives with the Montgomery County Sheriff's Office, Homicide and Violent Crimes Unit, along with crime scene investigators are on scene doing their investigation. The identity of the male was not being released until the next of kin uh, had been notified. The shooting is being investigated by the Montgomery County Sheriff's Office in tandem with the Montgomery County District Attorney's Office and Texas Rangers. Any questions that I can answer? How old was the person who was shot? Uh, we don't have that information at this time, but that will be part of the investigation as it continues. Was he a guest at the hotel room? From what we understand, yes ma'am, he was staying at the hotel room and was being asked to leave by management at the hotel. Why was he being asked to leave? Uh, that'll be part of the investigation. I don't have that for you at this, at this time. One of the eyewitnesses said that uh, he had pulled a gun on kids earlier. Uh, I'm not aware of, of any information, but again, we have a lot of witnesses, a lot of different videos, a lot of people that are uh, providing us information, so that'll all come out as we continue to investigate the incident. So he did not have his weapon, the officer? The subject? Yes. Uh, at this time, I do not believe so, but again, that'll be uh, revealed as we continue the investigation. And was it his weapon that he had, or did he take, like, his, the, the, I guess the person that died, he had his own gun? Uh, we're, again, we're not sure who, if it was his own weapon, or but he did have a, a weapon on him uh, that he, he uh, revealed when he was running from deputies. But it wasn't a weapon that was taken from a deputy? It was not a weapon taken okay. from a deputy, no sir. It was something that he took from his own property. Did the show markings I saw go up to at least 20, is that correct? I'm sorry, sir. The shell markings, casings, does it go up to at least to 20? It looks like I saw a 20. No, so we know that multiple shots were fired. I don't have an exact number for you, um, but that'll come out as the investigation continues and with the autopsy and things like that. How many officers fired? Uh, there's only one officer fired. Why was he asked to leave? Again, that's part of the investigation, uh, preliminary investigation. We don't have that information, but it'll be part of uh, the detectives that they continue to, to investigate. How many officers were on the scene that actually started firing? Uh, so there were two officers involved in the foot pursuit that led to the to the shooting. But only one fired? Only one officer fired, yes ma'am. And that was the foot pursuit? Um, you mean time, distance? Distance. Distance, um, again, I don't have that exact number for you. I hate to tell you something wrong. I, w I will say it wasn't very, very far before he turned and displayed his firearm. So did he turn around and point the weapon at the officer, or how did that work? So what I know is that he did turn with the weapon in his hand towards the officers, and that's at the time they uh, they fired their uh, destruction of firearms. Okay, thank you all very much. Thank you. Okay.
What are you doing, girl? <laughs>